Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prachapati and in this video I will be solving one of the most important SQL view interview question. So if you if you haven't watched my previous video, please go and watch those videos and then please come to this video. So here the question is, write a SQL query to find users who purchased different products on different dates. So this is the table, we have it and this is the output table, what we need. Okay, now if I talk about the question, then you can see they have mentioned write a SQL query to find users who purchase different product. Okay, so first we will see this line, the find the users who purchase different products. So if I talk about this users, okay, this user one is purchased different products, right, one, two, three, but they are saying on different dates. Now if you can see, the dates are different. For one date is different. Two is I mean one zero three, and three uh, the 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 item or we can say the product three. Uh, the purchase date is this. Okay. Now if I talk about the second user, then you can see first of all this uh, the products are same. You can see this two two is getting repeated, right? Two two is getting repeated. So we will eliminate this thing. Because they have said that purchased who purchased different products. So here the product is same. Now we come to this uh, third ID. Here you can see we have four and one. First condition is two, but they said on a different dates. But here date is single, like they purchase all the items on a single day. So we have to eliminate this records also. Now we have user four. Here you can see they purchase product 1 and product 2 but on a different date. So we have to keep this. So here the output should be 1 and 4. Okay, so the output should be 1 and 4. So how we will write a SQL query. Let's see. What I will do, I will, I will write select star dense rank. And then I will use over C. You know, you know that you know we need to uh, make a group on basis of user and purchase. I mean user and product. So that's why I'm gonna write here partition partition by user underscore ID comma product underscore ID cool and order by this date column so that is purchase purchase date okay and give some uh, some alias let's say r1 and from and from table table name is purchase table let's run this now you can see what 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 I have done see I used here user ID and product ID on a partition and I used dense rank instead of rank so see this will act as a one partition so the rank is one one two act as a one partition rank is one one three will act as a one partition rank is one but if I talk about this user ID 2, so user ID N1 having uh, one partition, I mean, you no know, one partition, so the rank is 1. But this 2 and 2, these rows having the same partition, so the rank is 1 and 2. Okay, and so on. Now, the first condition was that we have to filter out uh, filter out uh, the users who purchase the same who purchase the same product okay so here you can see who purchase the different product we need to select right so different products means this id should not be repeat like there should not be two okay so what i will do i will create a ct And here I will write select 
user id from um, from my ct okay and group by group by what user id only now you might be thinking why I am using here group by now I will use here having having what where maximum of R1 is equal to 1 see I do not want a same product right so that's why I am filtering out this uh, rank with one value so once uh, if I do this then you can see we have 1 3 and 4 so 2 is filtered out now there is one there is one more condition is that on a different dates so on a different date is that i can use here count distinct purchase date purchase date should be greater than 1 so the count of this purchase date should be greater than 1 so if i run this then you can see we have the output 1 and 4 which is correct output okay so i hope you have got the idea of dancing and this question okay what if if i you if i have used here rank let's see if i run this then you can see here we have this user id 111 for this we have this rank 111 for this uh, second id second user id the product id this will act as a this will act as a one partition this will act as a one partition this these two will act as a one partition correct so the id is one two and since the we have you know uh, we have we have used a rank so it we have used a rank and here the user id and product this will act as a second i mean uh, third partition we would say so this third partition maybe we have the rank so if i use here rank and if i try to run this uh, thing let's see will it work or not see again it is working okay so you can use here rank or dancing based on your, your logic and i hope you have got this idea and uh, yeah please subscribe to my channel and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited tab tak bye bye